We're back at the bottom of the hour, and there she is, the biggest star in sports today. Caitlin Clark and Iowa arriving in Cleveland for the final four yesterday, less than 24 hours after more than 12 million people watched Iowa beat LSU right here on ESPN. So I had Rebecca Lobo on here yesterday on Get Up, and she gave her take on where Caitlin right now ranks in the debate about who is the greatest of all time. When you get conversation. Does she need to win a national championship in order to be considered the GOAT? I don't think so. I think she needs to win multiple national championships to be in that kind of a conversation. Because when you look at the history of the game, you know, Candace Parker won two championships at Tennessee. Diana Taurasi won three championships. Brianna Stewart won four national championships. Not only won four championships, she was the most outstanding performer in four Final Fours. Caitlin has, is an incredible player. She has done more in terms of bringing attention and eyeballs to the women's game than any player we have ever seen. That's a mere fact. But when you want to talk about the GOAT conversation and you add championships to the mix, you have to understand the history of the game. Fascinating insight from one of the great players of all time and one of the great champions. And so here's Chenea Gumbuke, herself one of the great players in recent college basketball memory. So how about that? There were so many people. Look, again, 12.3 million people watched the game the other night with when, and you and Andrea and Elle sitting there, uh, you know, hosting the coverage and everything. And that means there are a lot of new people who are coming to the sport who don't know much about the history of it. So when they say, hey, Chenea, is Caitlin Clark the best player ever? What is the answer? I will say respectfully, no. And that is not to discredit what Caitlin Clark has done so far. But as Rebecca mentioned, through my personal experience, as someone who has played against Diana Taurasi countless times, who has played against Candace Parker, who changed the culture by dunking in the tournament, Maya Moore, literally the hardest player in my career that I've ever had to guard and defend, and Brianna Stewart, who beat me in my final, final four game en route to four national championships, respectfully. Caitlin Clark is not the greatest player of all time, but she does have an invite to the conversation if she wins a championship. But she is absolutely the greatest, most prolific scorer the college game has ever seen. She is an offensive juggernaut, the greatest three-point shooter the women's game has seen in college, and she is a beneficiary of the game that has been changed by the likes of Steph Curry, and she's applying that in a very similar way to the women's game. But right now, respectfully, no. And guess what? That's fine, because she is the most impactful player that we have seen in generations, and that might actually matter even more. Yeah, the evidence of that was on display with, among other things, the television ratings and, and, and maybe the beginning of something that has been completely uh, different from what we had seen in the past. So that, that said, do you think she gets it? I, well, there were a lot of skeptics about this Iowa team and whether they would even get through Colorado and certainly whether they would get through LSU. Now they've got to play UConn, and then we would assume if they get there, unbeaten South Carolina. Do you expect Iowa to win this thing and put her in that discussion? Do I expect Iowa to win this thing? Now, two rounds prior, I was very nervous. I said that they were in the danger zone because teams that rely on one star player, she accounted for 71% of Iowa's points versus LSU. Those teams typically do not win, but this matchup versus UConn is spicy because of what Coach Gino Ariama said. He said he believes that Paige in some ways, is better than Caitlin. Now, that's the right thing for your coach to say, but why does Coach Gino think so? It's because Paige is scoring and rebounding and assisting, plus has a post game, which differs from Caitlin's, you know, typical threes and layups, which she expertly crafts on a night-to-night -night basis. But still, if Caitlin were to beat a juggernaut in UConn perennially that we have seen the last 10 to 20 years and then beat an undefeated South Carolina, that invite to the greatest of all conversation, like that's delivered at her at her house. Not saying she is, but she has done tremendous things that have inspired winning. I I'm with you. That, that would be an unbelievable way to cap what will be one of the great careers in the history of the sport, no matter how you slice it.